thirsty? Fallen was thirsty, okay? He wanted to get the grand finals. He knows what, what's in store. Focus directly on this man's face. Bring your boy in. This is his shot. Take this tournament for himself. He almost had Dome Park on the grass where he was defeated by DK Will. This is his chance to take the Washington homegrown tournament. And Conga has a, has, does have six games to play with. Yes, so. he does. It's just going to be very difficult for him to get past Fallen. Let me tell you, for those who didn't see it before, it was a manhandling in that prior set over Obertar last yeah, night. Yeah, last night. But when you had a, when you have the mindset of playing other players, are you ready to go into DK mode? We'll find out. We'll find out. I wonder. I mean, it really, takes, it, though, takes, it takes a different mindset. You have to be a lot more patient, but more all reserved. He, all you had to do was play defensively and just make sure that Luma was always there. So, and at that time when he played him before, he was spacing appropriately. The moment that DK or that that Konga goes into that dash attack. He was going to grab him anyway, and that's where the damage starts getting built up. As long as he saves center stage, and right there, once again, another grab into up air string, big body is not going to be able to deal with that very well. And this time, he's not trying to overcommit with him either. He's waiting for a possible air dodge, jump away, and follow up with it. He's doing a great job so far. This is his plot to win. Yeah, he's doing a great job so far. It looks like he just had to do standard Rosalina stuff, honestly. <laughs> and yeah. Honestly, just proficiency in training. Great bait from Konga though, just trying to get back onto the ground here. If he can do something, good up tilts, damage onto Luma, and there chance. it is pops. Chance for a grab, it doesn't find it. Rosalina gets it instead. Back here from Konga. Fallen knows he has to escape. And keeping on this platform is very important. You know that Fallen's gonna be banning FD this entire time. Yeah, if you have anything that is a, like kind of a pseudo FD to it, Conga will take it. <laughs> like, well, it's um, it's just gonna be very tough. Nice run. drift from Conga. Yeah, that, that was a great job getting back, almost max distance there. And there we go, Conga charging up the punch. The punch. That was one thing we talked about last night after he lost the fallen. Is that he's like, I, uh, you know, keeping that punch on deck because it will it keep him safe. Anything that yeah. Luma does. Exactly. A nice. Up B through, but mm. takes that up smash and is going to lose his first stock. Only Not about favorite. 50 built on Fallen right now. Got to figure out if there's a way for Kong to get through this. He hasn't found any successful grabs as of yet, oh. but a missed recovery from and Fallen. And we'll take those, man. You have to take anything you can, especially in this bad character matchup for Konga. You have to think though, if he does get that grab into a into a ding dong, it's it's going to be pretty early just because of the big hitbox that Rosalina has, and for how um uh how Ooh, um so how light he is. Sorry. Konga, oh though. no! Yeah, this is this the, is par for the course, honestly. Just yeah, and once again, just baiting with that Luma out there, trying to get that dash attack, but not working out for Konga. I'm surprised no Luma's still alive. She, she took a whole punch to the face, I, and the damage is still. Uh, actually, he did knock it away, and it's come back already, I believe. Okay. I I, I might I might be missing it. The yellow is a little hard to track with uh, being as fury as I am right now. There has to be not a lot of HP left on it though. Konga finds his grab finally, but not a lot to do off of it, and is able to knock away Luma with the up tilt. This is his chance to find any significant damage. Rosalina does have one stock left. Any rage built huge hit, maybe even a punch. I, 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 I want to say something. We we cannot be out of the woods yet. I know it's it's it, 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 for either side. It's uh, we are equal percent, my angels. friend. <laughs> you know, I mean, we've seen some crazy. The Smash Moon is about to come alive. That's all I gotta say. Wind up that punch, making sure he's got something. Full charge now. Oh, wow, just out of range. Put it on the line. Nice there on the platform and a huge fair out there. Back air once again, this is going to do it. Oh, oh, my goodness. Great S smash. Call it air dodge. Let's go. Kong is never out of it. However, oh. let me point out. Let me point out real quick. This is how Konga took that very first game of their set last night. He was able to get the nice read, cut the set alive. Fallen was able to adjust from there on. And this is... That, like you said, he's got six games, six losses to recover from, or really five losses to recover from if he can pull this off. Well, so far, Tonga is the one making the, the trek, and he only has to win three games in this first set of Grand Finals. Two now. Yeah, the... the 
I guess you could say that the War of Attrition is on Fallen's side because he has to play so safe all the time. Mm -hmm. Whether it be with spacing or baiting or anything that he could possibly do. And, and Konga, if he finds the right holes, he can just eliminate stocks off of Fallen. And you know how I mentioned DK mode earlier? It's it's the mentality. And when you have the mentality of, si of six games, like... Yeah, and it takes a while for Fallen to kill Konga as well. Whether it comes from a down air or these repeated up air chains, it, it, just the weight in general Ooh, is a huge goodness. factor. And like right there with the down airs, those are big opportunities to get that kill, but... Nice up tilt from Fallen. Haven't seen that too much. Nice pivot grab. Gets more damage built up. This time at 90%. Another nice. up tilt. He cannot go for the Ding Dong with Luma in his face, and he does find it because wow, of the Kaga takes that first stock at what was he, like 60%? Yeah. Yeah, th I think that was part of, part of the, the rage percent. Oh, wow. And Fall and Retaliate saying, hey, uh, you're not getting any more of those. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's about that. It's more the fact that you just can't drift like you want to. Because I'm going to go aggress on you sometimes. And you're able to find that nice hole. Double up air. Indeed. Same. <laughs> hey, man. Don't do that to me. I like, I like the poke from the star bits he used. You don't, you don't see that move too, used too often, but I, I love well, it's, it's kind of a... Yeah. Fine. Just a little laggy. Nice, facing away from uh, Luma, getting that down slope. Ooh, wow, nice drag set down and play. That set play indeed, and Solon is all about it. That was a great drag down because the low landing lag from Luma, or from Rosalina in general, was just able to make him go for that down there. It was a really great tech from Fallen. Just, Fallen. just looking like the dark sider over here. He's saying, I, I am your father, and you are DK. <laughs> and, uh,. I am cranky and gonna gonna enforce my tell you how the game is played. You know how the game in the game he was like, you're bad. Let me tell you to play this right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some tips, son. Mm -hmm. Back in my day, we didn't have cartridges. We had back in my arcades. day, we didn't have to ding dong our opponents to win every time. We had to earn those, honestly. Uh, but in this case, like this, this is what you have to take everything you can. I'm too cranky at this point. Great up air chains from Fallen. Oh Once again, part for the course, just trying to find these grabs and get these conversions, and he's done it almost every single time. 50% built on Konga. Trying to find any kind of a hit. Great conversion, though, with the Lunar Landing. Konga looking in dire straits. Up throw up air. Still no percentage taken by Fallen. Back air will send Luma out of the way, though, and this is once again. This is, this you is go Konga's in? time, man. I think it's you can't time. run in too hastily, though. Try to find that grab. I mean, what, Back air once again. If there's, oh, if there's one thing so I, I can point out here space. is that Fallen is retreating to the corner every single time, and Konga has to find some kind of counterplay to that. Well, uh, with that platform, you can't go out too hard, otherwise you just get back thrown and die easier. Nice up airs from Fallen. Once again, not finding that kill, though. Very stale at this point. Oh, I love the tech... So opportunity he had. If he was actually able to get that down here, that would have been nuts. Oh, the platform just coming in clutch for Luma there. He's trying to keep it alive. If only you could grab Luma and just throw it out of there. Konga getting the punch on deck. He just need to find a way in to guarantee what he wants. Jab coming out. Even games in this grand finals first set right now. Oh, wow. A little Overcommitment indeed. Or punch, sorry. Double hit with the Nair, converting into double up air as well. This is what Fallen wants. Down air possibility, decides to clash with the up B instead. Not quite the spacing Fallen was looking for. Really not a lot of missteps from Fallen in this set so far. Like I said, yeah, it's just part of the course like you mentioned. It's, it's just safe Luma play, or safe Rose Luma, Luma play. Just retreating when you need to get that Luma back. It's really tough for Donkey Kong to get and in there. I think it even becomes tougher too when you when you're stocked down. And you already have to fight a yes. wall that is Rosalina yes. and Luma. You have to do it like, twice. Oh, chance here to try to go for the 50-50 cargo throw, but Fallen was wise, and he finds that back here, but not enough for a kill yet. I wonder, does Down Smash actually clip? Uh, from DK? Yes. If the head the head the head exposed. Okay. Uh, it almost seems a little suspect for Rosalina because of how tall she is. Kind of looks like it could, but I don't know for sure. If, he, if Kong's not going for it, it obviously isn't. Oh, wow, that could have been a stronger hit. Yeah, I, I, seeing Rosa, Honestly, Rosa like kill would be it. something. 
fallen just to like, content this and stay back in the corner or he, he or stay in shield. Oh, I'm five not worry about. Yeah. And I love the backers that Kong has been doing, but they're honestly stale at this point. Down air off the side of the stage. Back air once again, finally finding that kill. And once again, this could be another situation like that game one where big oh, damage. It's already starting. And another. It's already down starting. B and no Luma. A quick grab could possibly end this one. The fear, my man. The fear. Is it here? Oh, I, I wonder. Is it, it here? Oh, Is it here? Oh, Not enough. Not quite oh enough. My God. Even with the potential one slap. Now, I do believe that he is out of range. Luma is gone again. This is this is chance for Fallen to be really scared This is now. on edge right here, man. It, it just so quickly. Two big hits. Oh, Ooh. man. Whew. Man, I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared for myself now, too. <laughs> what so, the I, immediate what? Luma coming back and up air. Up B. Oh, oh back air. Flip it out. Yeah, oh, but you man. have to respect that fight from Konga. Two big reads right there, built enough damage, almost a ding dong percent with the rage that he had built up. It's very close. This is now Fallen's game to reset this bracket and bring it back in his favor to bring them both it, on the same plane. If every game is like this, then we got a doozy coming in. It's walking on eggshells at all times <laughs> for both players. Konga can build up that damage on himself. He, he, he'll take a lot of punishments. But having to eventually go in on Fallen, especially at the right opportunities, immediate back air onto Luma there, you know, quick 13%. Oh, Fallen really wanted to get him in there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think now is the time to go aggro. <laughs> you know, I'm curious because Fallen's entirely changing up his game plan now, and he is going aggro. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think so. And there's Kong's like first free grab. Anything I, I know is that in this matchup, you don't want to get too hasty. Yeah, you don't want to get grabbed by either player. Just because Kong is gonna take like 20%, Fallen is gonna take a lot of damage and stage positioning. Dash is in the way and gets the grab. Jiggle situation once again. If a grab a landing. Lightning traps are in full effect. And yeah, nice. got the Luma hitbox, and uh, DK is out of here. So now what do you think Konga has to do? He has to get rid of this Luma? Oh, That's oh what he has god. to do! Just oh. give him the hands! Oh my god. Easy solution, is it not? <laughs> I didn't even give him the hands. He gave him all of his feet. <laughs> it's a big boot to the face. Watch it, Dome. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Ash, you shot sour receive, my friend. <laughs> oh boy. You know, that was an easy answer because it already happened. Yeah, man. It isn't it beautiful? And like, I wonder how this question will be solved. We get the answer right away. <laughs> two plus two equals five, son. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, not quite yet. We're almost getting there. <laughs> no, yeah, the elegant match was definitely two, two plus five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how is Konga going to land now? He's having a hard time. Well, you get an answer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Sakurai will answer them for you. Oh, my oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's, all right. let's calm down here. Let's just calm down a little bit. This bracket has been reset. We are going back to 0 0 games. Let's lock in for another set here. Lock and load another friend. 3 1, just like the game at Orbitar. Yeah, looking Konga kind of like a, a rehash. You know? However, we did not see those explosive plays from Konga 